Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Always showing up, showing your girl some love. As I promised and as requested, we're gonna be doing fresh and clean scents, clean girl aesthetics, clean guy aesthetics. Um, these fragrances are all unisex, y'all. There's no gen gender in fragrances, okay? So uh, we're gonna be talking about that today. It's still hot, still summer, so let's get into it. But before we do, do that, please go follow me on Instagram. It's Marcmello. you know, make sure you are following me. Um, make sure you're subscribed over here on YouTube, all of that. Make sure you have those notification bells on so that every time I do upload a video, you can be the very first one to give me your feedback, comment, recommendation, all of that. And I'm going to slow down uh, because my brain is getting ahead of my tongue, okay? <laughs> um, so without further ado, we're going to get into these scents, y'all. Like I said, it's about 90 degrees. I'm still here in uh, Southern California, Los Angeles to be exact. And I'm still, you know, wearing scents that are uplifting, bright, with the notes of yuzu, bergamot, freesia, you know, uh, watery notes, um, just, you know, soapy smelling scents. So that is what we're gonna be talking about today. So if you are interested, please continue to watch. Let me know down in the comments, what's your favorite clean, clean girl fragrances, uh, but we all clean, okay? Um, Cause I'll, maybe I should do a series on dirty girl fragrances uh, because that kind of, that's, title is a little silly to me um clean girl aesthetics clean girl fragrances uh but we should do one i'm gonna do one on dirty girl fragrances right or dirty girl aesthetics <laughs> <laughs> to be exact y'all uh, but anyway the very first fragrance we're gonna get into is one that is unisex and I fell in love with upon first sniff um hood scents over on Instagram is always talking about this fragrance. So many other men are talking about this fragrance. I've seen women speak of this fragrance, but most of them are married. Uh, but I don't know, maybe I'm the only one that is singled and are and talking about this fragrance and fragrance and I actually wear it. And this is by the house of Roja Dove and this is Elysium and this is Roja Parfum. Y'all, I absolutely love this fragrance and upon first sniff, I fell completely in love with this fragrance. Fragrance. Yes, um, it is very unisex. To me, it doesn't lean uh, masculine because of all the citrusy notes inside. You have grapefruit, you have lemon, you have lime that's very bright and clean. There's a little bit of woodiness and soapiness as well in the dry down. In here, you have some cedar, ambergris, um, that black currant, um, and there's some juniper berries in here that also gives it a little bit of sweetness, and I absolutely love it. I don't spray it heavy because I think if you spray it a little too much, it will give you more of a masculine edge because of the cedar in here. But the black currant sweetens it up. It kind of smells like a Creed Aventus meets a Balda Freak meets a, um, an Aventus for her. It smells like all of that in this one bottle, you know, and I absolutely love it. I will always have this in my staple of fragrances, y'all. And this is Elysium. And yes, it is me that is wearing it. And I absolutely love it. Ladies, if you got a man, a boo, a bae, whatever, get him this fragrance. I actually purchased this on Max Aroma for a really good deal. It was only 240 It was less than $250. $240. Um, the wind is blowing. The wind is windy. Uh, but y'all, this fragrance is absolutely amazing for everyone, and I love it. Um, y'all, if you want a summer freshie, men, get this. Ladies, you want a unisex summer freshie, get this. You know, um, it's, it's amazing, y'all. Elysium also want to try danger as well um i sampled that one wasn't quite sure if i wanted a full bottle but i want to try it so the next one we're going to talk about is by the house of tiziana terenzi and this is the amazing cassiopeia this was so close to being in a declutter uh because of the cassis and the fern in here but you know when i started to fall more in love with it it is very clean it is very soapy in the dry down you get a beautiful fruity note it's very light airy um a little bit of freshness as well in this fragrance this is probably um not as sweet as all of the other ones that i have uh by the house of tiziana terenzi andromeda uh to bit you know orza talia all of those uh but i love that it has like the lemon 
there's lemon, there's passion fruit, there's fern. It's definitely very unisex. Um, it's a little green in the opening, you know, because of the cassis and the fern, but the passion fruit and the lemon, is, it makes it very bright and very fresh. Very clean, y'all. Um, this is by the house of Tiziana Terenzi, and this is Cassiopeia. Look at that bottle, beautiful in the sun. So the next one we're gonna talk about is my beloved, my all-time favorite, uh, what pretty much made me uh, loved here on YouTube. And this is Trusardi, y'all. You guys know Trusardi is my baby, okay? Um, and this is Trusardi Donna, and this is the EDT. Um, and here you have yuzu, you have lemon, you have some melon, um, and I think it, it smells more like a honeydew melon or a cantaloupe, not a watermelon, y'all, um, like DNG Lempetris. Uh, but yeah, you get more of a melony, a watery melon smell you get some jasmine tea in here as well um, you also get some lotus beautiful very bright uplifting very clean very fresh you know very like yeah clean girl aesthetics y'all clean guy aesthetics uh, but yeah this is a very uplifting fragrance and it's very bright and fresh and clean um, this fragrance lasts about maybe six hours depending on how much you spray uh, but you know spray heavy y'all you can this is very reasonable in price. I think I paid less than $40 for this. So you can go heavy. Spray about 20 sprays and it will last you a good six hours and give you an amazing sillage. As a matter of fact, I'm going to wear this tomorrow to work. A great work scent as well. Uh, but very, very clean aesthetics and scent on this fragrance, y'all. Um, the Elysium, amazing performance. Cassiopeia, amazing performance. Eight to ten hours on those. And it gives you like a moderate uh, projection y'all of beautiful fragrances so the next one we're going to talk about is one that is a bit on the pricier side it comes in a 50 ml and this is by the harmonist and this is yin transformation this is a beautiful fragrance lean slightly feminine uh, but there's some watery notes in here y'all there's hedione in here as well but this gives you more of, of a clean floral scent you know very bright, um, you know, very just relaxing, mentally stimulating fragrance. Um, in here you have your watery notes, you have some orchid, some bergamot, you have some freesia. Um, you also have some rose in here as well. It smells like more of a pink rose, but this leans a little bit more on the feminine side, but it's a stunning fragrance and very, very clean. Um, this is more of an upscale fragrance. I would wear this if I was going out, getting dressed up, you know, looking very pretty, throwing on a beautiful dress or something white and crispy and light. Uh, but yeah, this is beautiful and it, it's going to attract whoever the opposite sex because of the heat on in here as well. But anyway, get your nose on it. Yen Transformation by The Harmonist. The next one, y'all, I've fallen in love with, and this is by, I'm going to do another review, a full house review, because I have five fragrances now, and this is by Mystery Modern Mock, Mystery Modern Mock, um, and this is Seventh Rui, let's say, let me say how he says it, Seventh Rui, Seventh Rui, <laughs> anyway, that means the Seventh Street, um, you can go read the inspiration on the website, but this is a beautiful burger bergamot rose a very light watery airy rose very fresh this is definitely very unisex this is so uplifting it's very comforting it's very oh, it's just like yeah that's it it's very oh, yeah all of that y'all it's beautiful you know it's very sparkling there's a slight sweetness to this almost like a, a champagne rose like a rosé but y'all, this is so good. I want to overspray this all the time. It's not beast mode, okay? Like all of his other fragrances. And I'm so glad that it's not beast mode. Does it? It's not a skin scent, but it, it it invites people to come closer to you, to sniff you. It's a very inviting fragrance. A very almost like there's cashmere and like you have a white fluffy cashmere sweater with some rose and some really sparkling bergamot and some airy uh, white musk, y'all. This is beautiful. 
love, love, love this fragrance. And this is by The House. I'm so glad he made one that's not super beast mode um, and one that is moderate, a slightly a feminine edge, but definitely unisex uh, because all of his other fragrances, um, are they're pretty much all unisex. And this, this one is too as well. But I absolutely love the rose and the sparkling bergamot in here. Love this fragrance. Seventh Rui by Mystery Modern Mark. Get your nose on it, okay? Beautiful bottle as well. He changed the packaging. Stunning bottle. Lovely top. Changed that as well. So the next one we're going to talk about is Chanel AF. Um, and it's not what you think. It's Chanel Au Fresh, okay? <laughs> so um, Chanel Au Fresh. Um, I debated buying this for a long time, but I was also looking for another work scent. You know, just something very fresh, something very clean. Definitely a clean girl, an aesthetically clean girl fragrance, okay? Or a clean guy fragrance. But this is beautiful, you know? When I wore this, it's green in the opening, very like a fresh green, a soapy scent. I got a lot, a lot of compliments, you know. Um, I did spray it about 20 to 25 times on my clothes and on my skin. Um, I wore this to work. Um, I had an amazing sillage. After I, people were like, what do you have on? What do you have on? I actually took the bottle to work. I let them smell it. Two people purchased it. Um, they sent me bottles or pictures of their purchases. And I was like, oh, you guys, you finally got your fragrance. I'm not a huge Chanel uh, Chance fan. I do love the Chance uh, EDT that has the pineapple note, the patchouli inside. That one's very beautiful as well. But I am in love with this one now. Chanel Chance Au Fresh very clean soapy fragrance in here you have some pink pepper hyacinth cedar lemon it's beautiful but like i said you really get a greenness a slight woodiness but a soapiness in here as well uh but chanel chance oh fresh chanel chance af okay beautiful scent um you can dress this up dress it down um this lasted on me a good 12 hours out, but like I said, I sprayed it on my clothes like 20 to 25 times. Um, it's an EDT, so you gotta spray a little heavier, but people were still smelling me at the end of a 12 hour shift. So yeah, just spray heavier out, okay? And you will get a great performance out of your fragrance. All right, so the next one is by the House of Theodore Scalatini's, um, and this is the beautiful Musky Rose, y'all. I love this fragrance. It's really rosy, very light, very airy. In the opening, you also get the rose, like the green stem of the rose in here as well. Very sparkling fragrance. Um, it's beautiful, but it gives you a really fresh, clean, airy rose, and I absolutely I love this fragrance. Um, I wanted to say something. Oh, when I did wear this, it was more of like a soapy rose. Um, after the green scent or the green notes, um, it, there's no green notes listed, but it smells like there's green notes in here. And that's what I love about this fragrance. You know, you get the rose, you get the stem. You know, after I wore this, it, it gave me some soapiness as well. Um, so that's why I included this in my clean, aesthetically clean fragrance review. And please don't slap that gate again. Okay. So anyway, y'all, musky rose. So the next one we have is uh, a very beautiful scent. And this is by the House of Guerlain. Excuse him. Um, and this is called Tesora, y'all. Um, I love filming outside, but the fact that people aren't considerate when they slam the gate, um, if he slams that gate on the way out, y'all, he don't even care, okay? Um, and he sees me filming over here. But anyway, that's what I hate about it. But I love filming outside in the summertime. Um, this is the Aqua Allegoria line. This is Tesora. Um, I spray about 20 on here as well. It's a very beautiful uh, tea fragrance, but very fresh, very clean. Uh, it's slightly green in the opening, but you really get a beautiful tea note, uh, which makes it very sparkling and clean. Um, I love this. It People say it only lasts about four hours uh, but it lasts about six hours on me uh, but in the opening it's very green so in here you get um, yuzu bergamot green tea and a little bit of a bitter yellow grapefruit skin but absolutely love it and amazing for the summer the spring summer y'all the next one we're going to talk about 
found is one that has been circulating around on YouTube. I have, I've had this fragrance for about a year and a half. Um, my video, I never seen it on YouTube um, and my video has gotten tons, thousands and thousands of views on this fragrance here. And this is Mont Blanc Signature. Um, this is very clean and very spa-like, you know, as if you're going to a retreat you get some clementine in here. There's some orange blossom. There's some peony. It's very sparkling, almost like a, a clementine mimosa because you get a sparkling scent in here as well. It's beautiful, but it's like you're at a very uh, upscale and expensive spa. You're having a very beautiful, relaxing spa day. Um, like I said, in here you have your clementine, ylang ylang as well. You get a lot of that in here. Um, a peony and white musk. But like I said, you really get um, a very spa-like scent when you wear this. Performance on here is amazing. Um, so for me, I get about 10 hours. I sprayed this on my robe the other night when I woke up. Almost two days later, it was still on my robe. Um, so whoever says that they don't get a good longevity out of this, try spraying it on your clothes. Um, on my skin, I got about six hours out of this as well. But you know, this is such a beautiful, sparkling clementine in here. And I absolutely love it. And you ling ling y'all. Um, stunning, very affordable. I bought this at Nordstrom's when I didn't know any better. Uh, but this is also on fragrance x fragrance net um for about and fragrance buy for about 35 to 50 dollars y'all um i had no idea when i purchased this nobody spoke about it and then i bought it i bought it at nordstrom's it was like 130 40 dollars um, and it came in a little kit and it absolutely made no sense the price uh but now you can find it everywhere okay mont block signature all right, the next one we're gonna talk about is by um, the Zara Jo Malone collection. Absolutely love Creatively, I think it's Creatively Shanghai. Y'all, in here, it's beautiful. You get some Mandarin, you get cardamom, you get cedar, but you also get a soapiness to this as well. Cardamom to me um, gives me a little bit of soapiness, uh, but I absolutely love it. You can layer this with every single one of these fragrances today, uh, but I love this fragrance. Um, but the mandarin and the cardamom in here, what I have, cardamom, Jo Malone's cardamom and mimosa also gives me a little bit of soapiness as well. So when the cardamom is not mixed with like a heavy vanilla or an incense, it makes it more sparkling and it gives me a little bit of a soapy smell to my nose that is you know but absolutely love the mixture of mandarin and cardamom and with the woody dry down of the cedar y'all stunning this is one of my favorite um jo malone collaboration with zara fragrances um love it it reminds me of california maybe not so much shanghai uh but yeah i love it so the next one we're gonna talk about is by the House of uh, Aloria, and I love this fragrance as well. This is very serene, sparkling, clean, fresh. In here, you have your orange blossom, you have some green tea, rose, pink pepper, freesia, love, 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 heaven. You know, this leans slightly feminine. You know, you gotta spray a little heavy on this, y'all. But it's a beautiful fragrance, beautiful bottle, beautiful house. I have fire as well. Um, they deal with the elements of the earth. You know, earth is really amazing as well. Water is stunning. I really want to get water, uh, but I have so many fragrances now. I do have a discovery kit. Go get this, the discovery kit. Um, and then maybe you'll think about purchasing a full bottle. Well, make sure you do the discovery kit first. They're stunning fragrances. But heaven and water, they are so amazing. Okay, um, I think I told you everyone, all of these fragrances have something similar about them. Either they have like some citrusy notes, um, they may have some watery notes, they may have some yuzu, they may have a scent, a, a note of tea inside. So they all bring um, a sense of almost the same things, you know, some green notes that make them very fresh, airy, and uplifting, beautiful. Y'all, we got a couple more to go and then we're almost done. Um, so the next one is, uh, let's do Narciso Rodriguez. And this is um, Narciso Rodriguez for her. 
inconsiderate. And this is the EDT. He couldn't be my man, he's too in inconsiderate. <laughs> but this is such a beautiful fragrance. Um, and this is, I'm sorry, this is not the EDT. Narciso Rodriguez for her, and this is the EDP. The EDT comes in the black bottle, and I absolutely love that one as well. So in here you have your bergamot, osmanthus, osmanthus. there's some peach in here, um, there's some orange blossom in here. I love this. I got rid of my Sarah Jessica Parker, I think it is. Um, lovely because it smelled just like this, but this one gives me a little more fruitiness, a little more, a little bit more of a little more warmth. Um, it smells cashmere in, you know, smells fuzzy. Yeah, this is so, so good. So that's why I, even though that was a signature scent for me, lovely growing up, um, I, I was hanging on to it for the memories alone. I love this one better. Um, and this one is very clean and fresh and sparkling. The peony in here brightens this fragrance up. It makes it clean, uplifting. The osmanthus adds a little bit of fruitiness in here as well. Absolutely loves, I love, love, love this scent. And this is Narciso Rodriguez for her. And this is the EDP, y'all, okay? Last but not least, actually, we have two more, okay? Um, but the next one I'm going to talk about, the second to the last, um, and this was Aqua Allegoria, and this is Aqua Del Elba. This is actually Classica for men, and I love this one better than the uh, one for so-called women, but it's definitely unisex. Now, in here... It's a little herbaceous, a little aquatic, very fresh, very, very fresh, very clean, you know, very soapy. You get um, some lemon, some mandarin, some rosemary, some musk, some aquatic notes in here. But I absolutely love this fragrance. I purchased this over in Venice. Um, I saw that Chris went to the boutique over in Venice as well. You know, I love when I see people that have had the same experiences. Um, it just really, it makes me happy, y'all, uh, because we're on the same wavelengths, okay? Uh, but yeah, love this fragrance. I'll never get rid of this uh, because this brings back so many scent memories of being over in Venice, Italy. Um, love it, y'all. Get your nose on this. This is probably one of the freshest, cleanest fragrances I have in my collection, and I absolutely love it. I think there's a note of seaweed in here also, but it's not too salty. Uh, but you do get some oceanic, soapy vibes from this fragrance, and I absolutely love it. The next one we have is one that I also purchased over in France, um, and this was in Paris, France, over in Nice, um, and this is Summer Far 90. Um, there's a lot of fresh notes in here. You get some rose, some peach, some bergamot, some lemon. Don't know where you can purchase this, but I absolutely love it, and it's so windy out here, y'all. Uh, but yeah, Summer Far 90 gives me a little bit of fresh floral with slightly a slight sweetness uh, but the soapiness as well very very clean fragrance um, if you are over in Europe then you're able to purchase this fragrance y'all know I got subscribers all over the world um, so I just can't speak to the ones from America but yes yeah, summer uh, far 90 I think it's pronounced y'all and that is it absolutely love this fragrance this is my favorite one um i thank you all for watching um go on to the world spread amazing siage do good be good and leave me down in the comments your favorite clean fragrance and you know have an amazing day everybody love you all lovely dogs this is like a little dog park back here uh, but we don't want to see the dog poop so i will be ending this video right now bye bye y'all